All right, Neil Diamond himself singing about America. And, you know, again, we're uh, celebrating or I I don't want to say celebrating, but we're recognizing or honoring those who have lost their lives uh, for the anniversary of September 11th, 2001. And, uh, yeah, so much, so much is happening across the country, but especially in uh, the city of New York. And Washington, D.C. Um, all right, we have a caller on the line. One of my favorite people, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? I'm awesome. And how are you? Awesome, too. Listen, I missed you at the um, the uh, the the Adam Kinzinger uh, thing last month. Oh, the rally. Yeah. yeah the, sorry. That's all right. With school starting, you know, it's hard for moms to run around and take care of all that stuff and get everybody registered and, you know, participate in those things, too, when they have them during business hours. Well, you know, that's one more uh, reason why moms should be celebrated. Absolutely. <laughs> because we are here, there, and everywhere, aren't we? <laughs> yes, uh, anybody that stays at home. There's more and more dads that are doing it, too, now. That's with right. the job issues and things going on. So. Yeah, you know, I um, read a, a piece, Tammy, I think it was back around the first of the year, may have been around Mother's Day, I don't know, but um, it, 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 it said if a mom was paid or a wife was paid for everything that she did in the home, um, she would be paid about sixty thousand dollars a year. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if they got paid for overtime, you're talking about triple <laughs> <laughs> six digit salaries. Oh my goodness, I tell you. Well, listen. Do do you recall, Tammy, where you were September eleventh, two thousand one? Actually, I do. Um, unfortunately, I was surfing the couch because uh, I have a lot of health issues, bone and disc degeneration. And um, in a wheelchair at the time, so I was at home, got up, turned on Good Morning America, and I'm seeing the first plane go into the building when they first start talking about it. Mm. My cousin calls, and she's at work, and she says, I heard something on the radio. And as I'm talking to her, I'm going, yeah, they're replaying it now. And then all of a sudden realize that's a second plane going into the building. And just re-watching it um, this past week is just still gives me goosebumps. I tell you. I was going through old uh, VHSs, and we had actually tape recorded a lot of that stuff, even the benefits that they had when all the actors came out, Julie mm-hmm. Roberts and mm-hmm. all of them, and they're singing and trying to raise money and all of this. And um, we were reviewing some of this stuff, and it just does not change how you feel inside when you witness something like that happening just like my grandparents went through when that happened at Pearl Harbor. Yes. You know, I, um, for the life of me, Tammy, I tried to remember the day before. Can you remember the day before? What it, I, You know, I can guess that it was a routine. You know, I went through my routine, but there's nothing that stands out about the day before September 11, 2001. All I can remember around that time is that date and all the things that took place. I, I only remember because of the excruciating back pain that I had mm-hmm. and the day afterwards because I was going to see a neurologist that following day. Yes. And it was we were all still very afraid, not knowing what was going to happen next the day after. Yes. Um, going to the doctor's office, it was just insane trying to find parking or where you need to get in there. Every TV in the hospital and all the facilities have it on there. Yes. And people can't stop talking about it. And they're just devastated. The looks of their on their faces and how people felt, there was a lot of anxiety. Yes. And a lot of rallying. That's what was the real blessing. And we were all, everywhere you went, God bless America, God bless you, you know. Oh, my goodness. I think, you know, it, it, it's a sad thing to say, but when something as tragic as that happens, you know, to individuals or families or a community or st- in, within a state or, in this case, an entire country, um, it brings the best out of people, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we tend to forget because you just get caught up in the mundane things in life. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Um, you know, bringing it back. The fear is back again, too, just with the, the recent alerts. But not that long ago, it was frightening again um, when I was.
was in the area and you see all these police pulling all these trucks over. Yes. And that's when they were saying that there were potential bombs on the plane heading towards Chicago and the ink or the toner cartridges that they had sent over. Yes, I remember and that. And everything was heightened and nobody was talking about it. And it was like something's going on. And you get home on the news, they were saying that, you know, there was potentially something heading towards Chicago. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, the intense intensity not the fear that people have but the intensity that people have right now just celebrating the the lives that were um you know tragically taking way too too soon Mm -hmm. um and just knowing in the back of your mind that there's people out there willing to do anything for their cause regardless what the price is yeah and 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 you know in their head they're right that's the scary thing Right. In their head, they're right. You know, the, those people who flew those airplanes into those buildings died thinking that they were doing the right thing and mm-hmm. took so many innocent people with them. And I, I don't know how anybody can ever celebrate taking a life. No. You know? And no. even those that defend our country, they're doing it for all the right reasons. But in the back of your mind, you still got to think that somebody's son. Yes, daughter, mother, yes, you yes. know, it's, it's, it's another human being. Absolutely. But we have to do what we have to do to protect our country and our freedoms and mm-hmm, liberties. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, um, when you talk about the footage, you know, they were uh, obviously all weak. Um, every network, everywhere you turn television on, just about they they were replaying the footage from from that horrific day. And mm-hmm. Tammy, I recall just what you recall, just you know, going through my routine in the morning, getting myself and my son ready for our day with the television on um, in the background, and walking past the television and seeing <laughs> the building. Um, um, that how the first building that how, had already been um, struck by the the first plane and right when that happened my phone rang and it was my mom and we were on the phone talking about it and as we were watching the television and talking about it there goes the second plane flying into the building and it was just a horrible thing to see I distinctly recall seeing. Um, what I thought was debris coming out of the windows, Tammy. Right. Yes. And then um, later on when they would zoom in on the building, or I think there was a picture in the newspaper um, where where the, the, the photographer zoomed in on the building and it was people yeah. jumping. Now you oh, my God. It. it was people jumping out of the windows. Oh, oh my God. I, it, it was just horrible and a family making that phone call from there or from the plane saying, I love you, goodbye. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, you know, um, it, it was just a horrible thing. And again, I, you know, I, I am so glad that this that will not be a day forgotten and we will continue to, to um, um, acknowledge and, and um, celebrate the lives of those who, who were innocently taken, but and God bless all those that are fighting hard to protect us every day. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right.